Hello, again, we're back with another business in Guildford. It's been thriving since it's opened in February 2019. Growlers and Cans. They're an independent ale shop and they also run vinyl and event nights. I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Welcome. Hello, my name's Max. I'm one of the owners of Growlers and Cans. And this is my husband, Charlie. The other owner. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have you with us today. Thank you. Um, been um, yeah, a real asset to Guildford since you have opened, so I'd like to sort of really touch on what you were up to before Covid happened and what was going really well for you. Well, we were having lots of events, so we had uh, lots of jazz gigs, we had to cancel 39 events booked after, after yeah. Covid unfortunately, so DJ sets, jazz gigs, we had someone, a playwriting group uh, every week yeah. which was just about to start. We were doing uh, a tie-up with the university and their music department. I'd like to know a little bit more about the exhibition focus that you've got coming up and how that really integrates with members of the community. Max? Um, well, it happened just by accident. Um, Rob, um, Rob Blackman came in one evening. He's one of our um, customers and he's a professional photographer and obviously with Covid, all his work died and he said oh Max I'd like to take your picture and I was a little bit surprised but I said okay let's do it and I quite liked the picture and I thought you know how can I pay him back to say thank you and I said why don't we have some of your pictures in the window or in the shop and then it suddenly occurred to me why don't we do some of the local businesses get there mm. get the face that's in front of the business these people that we see around Guildford and have survived the lockdown and Sir Rob and I contacted Experience Guildford and said this is what we plan to do and initially we were only going to do about maybe 10 businesses and then Olivia said could you do 40 and I thought let's give it a go so she sent a list of all the locals that we that, that are in Guildford and we went round and took pictures of at least 43 businesses local independents and the pictures looked fantastic and we decided to do a rolling story in the shop so we'd have five sets of photos rolling through on our website on Grouse and Cans website also on Ben's um, Ben's records Ben's collectors yeah yeah past and present and also okay. obviously on experience Guildford and we'd roll them for two weeks at a time um, and that's that's what's been happening and it's had fantastic um, it's really been re well received and hopefully what we plan to do is at the end of November at the last Sunday get all these businesses in mm. have all the pictures posted in the shop hopefully we might even get the mayor to come and <laughs> that would be great that would be amazing. <laughs> wow but continue with these pictures up until the end of the year and then hopefully give them to each person as a kind of here's your portrait. here's a gift yeah here's your portrait very interesting to hear about that because it's a sort of a really cultural approach to um, working together. And just as a final question, do either of you think that there's other measures that either the council or our local community could take to improve how we work together and increase participation? I think, uh, I think there's definitely more of awareness for people wanting to support independent businesses in that local area. I think mainly because they are spending more time in Guildford, they, they live here, but many of them were commuting to London every day, and now they've, been, they've spent the last six months here working from home, so they've spent perhaps more time looking around Guildford and finding independent shops. Uh, so that's been a positive, and I think there is definitely uh, a bit of a change towards people wishing, realising that if they don't support independent places, then they won't be any. I know they're doing a lot of this in London where certain roads are being um, pedestrianised, so to speak. So, like on the high street where it opens up the high street at 4 o'clock in the evening, maybe close these roads from 4 o'clock onwards and allow places like ourselves, Neuros, the Tarp, Turtle Bay, and we have seating out here because people are yeah. still frightened to come out. But if they know they can sit outside, have a drink, but only for a short period, I'm talking about maybe just over the summer period, but mm. it's going to be a while before most people are going to feel comfortable. If they know they're sitting outside, they'll be more inclined to come out, sit and have a drink, and just 
more of an interactive sort of community.